Hey guys, Travis with Everglaze. Today we got the John Deere 60P. Let's check this thing out. All right guys, so as the kids say on the internet, I'm gonna pull up with the stick. So let's talk about the front end of this excavator and work our way back. All the John Deere mini excavators have this mechanical quick connect wedge coupler. There's one bolt right there. And whenever you loosen that bolt, you can drop the wedge and then roll out of your bucket. So there's no, like on a lot of other excavators, you have to like knock pins out of the bucket in order to change it. You don't have to do that on our excavators. It's one bolt right here and you can drop it. Also on the 35 and larger, you can put a hydraulic quick connect on the excavator. So once we start working our way up, you can see this one has a hydraulic thumb installed. All of the John Deere mini excavators come standard with a bracket to mount the thumb to, and they are basically pre-set up for the thumb. So we have this diverter valve right here. So the plumbing is already there. And the nice thing is, is that if we wanted to run, you know, like a breaker or something else, we could have it plugged in here and be able to run our thumb at the same time without having to drop, you know, the whole thumb off of the excavator. So going further up, this is where the John Deere starts to separate itself from some of the competitors. If you look at how much plate steel is in this excavator versus cast, the answer is it's, a, it's got a lot of plate steel in it. It does cost a little bit more money to use plate steel, but plate steel is stronger. So let me show you where we got plate steel. So right here, now this joint where the stick meets the boom gets a lot of force put on it. So guys that use these things, will, a lot of times they'll pry with them, push with them, sweep with them. So there's a lot of force that goes in here. So with this plate steel, you get a little bit of extra strength to this joint. Also, if you look at the way that they weld the boom, so you can see the weld goes all the way across here, as opposed to if you study another excavator boom, you'll find that oftentimes they just weld straight down. So you get a lot less weld with those other booms versus a John Deere boom. Because you can see there's just a lot more weld. If you have more weld, you have more strength right there, and therefore your entire boom is gonna be stronger. As we work our way up, you can see your hydraulic hoses are on top of the boom over here. And even the ones down here, all of the hydraulic hoses are covered with these Cardura sleeves right here. So what these do is they provide extra coverage against abrasion, tearing, you know, anything in the woods rubbing against them. So you have extra protection on those lines. The bushings on a John Deere mini excavator, we are the only ones that do this we have oil impregnated bushing. That basically means if your guys forget to grease this, the machine, the bushings in the machine release grease on their own. If we took one of these bushings from the parts counter and we just laid it on the ground, as it would start to heat up, it actually secretes a little bit of grease. So the machine will grease itself. In other words, now it's not a substitute for not greasing the machine. You still need to grease it, but it's sort of an extra insurance policy to ensure durability and longevity of the machine without calling for a whole bunch of maintenance. Now, uh, you can also see your boom cylinder here is protected by this big steel plate. So you have plenty of protection for this cylinder because if you think about it, whenever you're digging, this could be subject to damage, but luckily you got that big steel plate protecting it. Now let's move our way back into the post here. This is a single post. I say that because if you look at some other ones on the market, they have dual posts. So a lot of the other excavators have two smaller posts here the John Deere has one big one. So what does that mean? 
you get more strength there, and also it feels a little bit firmer whenever you swing the boom. Now, furthermore on this, you see how there's a plate steel here, plate steel at the bottom, and then you got cast in the middle. So you have a lot of strength on this part of the excavator, which is obviously gonna get a lot of force put through it. Now let's talk about the blade. This one, there's two different ways you can order it. You can get a straight blade or an angle blade. This one has the angle blade. So you can see the blade itself has a lot of steel in it. If you look behind here, it's really got some serious steel behind it reinforcing it. So this blade is really strong. Your periodic maintenance chart is located right there at eye level. And one of the nice things about John Deere mini excavators is they don't call for a lot of maintenance because one of John Deere's biggest customers for these are some of your bigger rental houses. And in order for it to meet their requirements, it has to be durable and not require a lot of maintenance, which John Deere mini excavators certainly fit the bill there. For example, you don't have to change the hydraulic oil until 2000 hours. So let's continue our tour. So here we can see this one, obviously because it has the long stick, it does have the extra counterweight back here. Uh, you have your engine compartment here, which is lockable. Um, over here you have your coolers, your battery, your fuel filter, coolant tank, air filter. Now our hydraulic sight glass is located right there. Here is where you're gonna find, this is lockable by the way. Now here you're gonna find the fuel tank, the hydraulic tank, and over here in the middle is a lockable toolbox. So you have a lot of storage right here where you can store your grease gun or whatever else you wanna store. Now I could spend a little bit more time talking about nuts and bolts, features inside the cab and so forth, but that would be lame. Now, if you notice, we have this lot back here that needs to be cleared. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear a little bit of land with this 60P today. Let's go to work. Man, Tony, look at this path of destruction. And look at all these casualties. Man. I've had worse days at work.